All right, in this scene, we're going to talk about focal segmental glomerular sclerosis, represented by this guy over here who's focusing his gun, focusing gun for focal segmental glomerular sclerosis. Don't worry about who he's pointing his gun at. He's aiming it at this guy down here. Well, that's going to be in our amyloidosis video. So he's focusing his gun. Now the great thing about focal segmental glomerular sclerosis is that the name gives away a lot. Glomerular sclerosis because there's going to be dense pink deposition of collagen seen on histology. Segmental because a segment of the glomerulus will be affected and not the whole thing. And we'll see that soon. And focal because it, there's going to be a focus. Only some of the glomerular will be affected. Not all of them in the kidney. Okay, now let's take a look at this guy over here. We noticed this sickle that he dropped. And that reminds us that sickle cell anemia can cause focal segmental glomerular sclerosis. So if you see a patient with sickle cell and they develop a nephrotic syndrome, you know it's probably focal segmental glomerular sclerosis. The same applies to HIV. And that's why we see this hive over here sticking out of his anus. A hive is going to remind us of HIV. An HIV patient that develops a nephropathy leads to the fact that it's probably focal segmental glomerular sclerosis. And finally, he's on heroin. And that's why he has this heroin syringe in his back. Heroin abuse can also lead to focal segmental glomerular sclerosis. Other causes of focal segmental glomerular sclerosis include massive obesity, interferon treatment, or congenital malformations. Oh, I didn't mention it to you. This guy actually is Hispanic. ¿Y cómo estás, amigo? He's Hispanic. Focal segmental glomerular sclerosis is the most common cause of nephrotic syndrome in Hispanics, as well as in African Americans. Now, primary disease has an inconsistent response to steroids, and that's why it may progress to chronic kidney disease, represented by this kidney over here who fell down from the building, and he's about to die, to remind us of the chronic kidney disease. Take a look over here. This guy jumped off the building, and his feet went through the floor. They're effaced. This reminds us of the effacement of foot processes seen in focal segmental glomerular sclerosis, and that's similar to that observed in mineral change disease. And we could see a picture of the effacement here on this histologic picture. What do we see over here? Here we see microscopy, and we notice the segmental sclerosis in the glomerulus. As we mentioned, only a part of the glomerulus will be affected. That's what we mean by segmental. Someone spray painted this building over here. They wrote IgM, C3, C1, and that's just to help us remember that in immunofluorescence, it may be positive for nonspecific focal deposits of IgM, C3, and C1. All right, we're going to discuss amyloidosis in another scene, represented by this part over here. But for now, I hope you enjoyed. Okay, take care.